Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this quadratic inequality. So the first step here is to factor the expression. Now in this case, we can do common factoring. So we can factor out an x from both terms. So we get x and then in parentheses, we write what's left over from the terms when we factor out an x. So we get x minus 4 and then close the parentheses and then greater than 0. Now we cannot factor this expression any further. So the next step is to find the zeros of this quadratic function. So for that, we'll set the two factors equal to 0 and solve for x. So for the first one, we get x equals 0. And for the second one, we get x minus 4 equals 0. And we can isolate x. So we add 4 to both sides. So the 4s on the left side cancel each other out. And we get x equals 4. Now we'll use the number line method to find the solution for this inequality. Now the first step in the number line method is to draw a number line and plot these two zeros. So the first one is 0, so we can plot it on the left side here because 0 is less than 4 and the next one is 4. Now these two zeros divide the number line into three parts. So there is a part of the number line to the left of 0. There is a part between 0 and 4. And there is a part of the number line to the right side of 4. Now we have to see which parts of this number line satisfy this given inequality. So for that we'll use test values in each of these three parts. So for the left part we can use the test value negative 1 because negative 1 is to the left side of 0. So between 0 and 4 we can use 1, the easiest number between 0 and 4. And to the right side of 4, we can use 5. So now we have to sub in these test values one by one in this inequality and see which of these test values satisfy this inequality. So let's start with the first one. So the given inequality is x squared minus 4x is. So we sub in x as negative 1. So we get negative 1 square minus 4 times negative 1 is greater than 0. So negative 1 square is 1 and then negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. And now we can add the numbers. So 1 plus 4 is 5. So 5 is greater than 0 which is true. So that means this inequality is satisfied in the left part of this number line. So now we have to check the middle part. So we'll sub in x as 1. So 1 square minus 4 times 1 is greater than 0. And now we can evaluate it. So 1 square is 1 and then 4 times 1 is 4. So negative 4 is greater than 0 and now we get negative 3 is greater than 0 which is not true because negative 3 is less than 0 that means the middle part of the number line does not satisfy this inequality now we'll check the third part so we'll sub in x as 5 so we get 5 square minus 4 times 5 is greater than 0. Now 5 square is equal to 25 and then minus 4 times 5 is negative 20 is greater than 0 and now 25 minus 20 is 5. So 5 is greater than 0 which is true. So that means this inequality is satisfied by the third part of this number line. So now we can write the solution for this inequality using the interval notation. 
So the solution lies in the left side of 0 and to the right side of 4. So let's start with the left side. So on the left side, the answer will be the negative infinity to 0. Now 0 is not part of the solution because here the inequality is just greater than 0, not greater than or equal to 0. So that's why we'll use a parentheses for 0. So 0 is not included in the solution. And now for the other part, so now we'll use the union. Now for the other part, so it's all x values greater than 4. So we'll write it as 4 comma infinity. So 4 is not part of the solution because the inequality is just greater than 0, not greater than or equal to. And for negative and positive infinity, we only use the parentheses, the round bracket. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to write the answer for this type of inequality in interval notation. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.